Having come out in Louisville in 1969, um, I, was, I was 17 going on 18, and obviously I couldn't get in the, into any gay bars in Louisville. And uh, we had our little hangouts where, where uh, clusters of, of, of Twinkies, although we didn't have that word then, but you know, that's what we were, uh, hung out at, at little restaurants and outside bar areas. And, uh, um, but I really wanted to get into a gay bar. I just really wanted. And we found out that um, there was a cruise New Year's Eve going out of Cincinnati. And for some reason, since it was on a riverboat on the river, we could get on at 18. And this was um, New Year's Eve going from 1969 to 1970. Uh, so we made a plan to, to go up to this, to this um, uh, floating gay bar, essentially, on the Ohio River. I concocted this, this crazy story to my parents, who I was still living at home at the time, about um, going out to a New Year's Eve party, and then we were going to stay out late so we could go to Mass the next morning, you know, being a good Catholic boy, and uh, because that's a holy day of obligation, January 1st, so you're supposed to go to Mass anyway. So I concocted this whole story so that I could be out late enough and have any reason to be out late enough so that I could get home at like 6 or 7 in the morning. Um, so we pile into the car, my, all my Twinkie friends and I, and off we go to Cincinnati. And we get on this riverboat, and it's everything that I imagined it to be because there are gay guys everywhere. And they, my little Louisville world was very small, and then suddenly they, these were there were big city guys in, in this place. And um, so we take off on the river, and it, it was a beautiful night. It was so much fun. New Year's Eve on a riverboat, uh, with surrounded by nothing but gay guys, and it started snowing, and it was magical because we're going down and looking out and seeing all the snow, and I met this one boy. As I recall, I was standing close to the bar and, and um, feeling very good about myself because I had, this was the year of the chocolate brown shirt, and I had my chocolate brown shirt and my striped flares, and, and hey, it was the 1969. <laughs> and um, um, he came up to me and, and just started talking, and, 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 and I'm sure he was the aggressor more than I was because I was in uncharted territory. We hung out for most of the time together. And, I, and as I recall, it was getting close to the midnight hour for New Year's Eve. And um, um, that's when I suppose he took me by the hand and took me out to the front of the boat, out onto the bow of the boat. And uh, uh, in my mind, it was at that midnight hour. I'm not certain that it was, but in my mind, it was a New Year's Eve kiss. And uh, standing on the bow of this, uh, this floating um, gay bar riverboat on the Ohio River with snow swirling all around us. And uh, I couldn't imagine anything much more romantic than that. Well, there was a downside to the snow, however, because by the time we finally got back into shore, it was really coming down, and there was no way we were going to get back to Louisville, Kentucky. That's about a two hour and 10 minute drive and under regular circumstances. Problem is obviously, you know, I have to call home and tell my parents, you know, and uh, um, I did. Uh, a, an older gentleman got us a hotel room, which was very kind of him, you know, and, and uh, so um, uh, we piled into this, this one room in a, in a hotel. And I had to call my parents and tell them I wasn't coming home. And uh, I still, I could hear, my mother answered the phone, but I could hear my father in the background, what the hell's he doing in Cincinnati? <laughs> so um, I don't remember exactly what I told them, something you know, to the effect of, well, you know, the party wasn't going well, and, and, and some, my friends had some friends in Cincinnati, and there was a party in Cincinnati, so we just decided to go there. Of course, nothing about a gay riverboat. But uh, so that was my, um, my first gay kiss on New Year's Eve in the snow on the bow of a riverboat on the Ohio River. To be in a place where I was surrounded by nothing but other gay men was, uh, was monumental for me. You know, it, it, it's, it's like, you know, the, the, a flower finding its soil. You know, it, 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 this, I, I understood that this was my environment. And, and the proverbial duck to water, um, I just, I, I felt at home, you know. And when you feel misplaced because you don't quite fit in, and then suddenly you're in an environment where you do fit in, where everybody is there supporting you and you're supporting them, 
it was a watershed moment for me.